There's a lot of films that bring people back to life, whether through miracles or a science experiment. The film Poor Things shows how an unorthodox scientist, played by Willem Dafoe, brings a, a young woman back to life using unconventional methods, who he later ends up building strong paternal feelings for. When his experiment on his sheltered subject doesn't exactly go according to plan, he has to figure out how to love even if it means letting go. ABC News' Lindsay Davis sat down with Willem Dafoe on the dark comedy fantasy and its whirlwind adventure. So I was able to, to watch Poor Things, oh, and good. a friend of mine was, said to me, well, what's it about? Uh -huh. And it was, it was actually hard in the moment to think of, how do I succinctly say this without giving it all away? How do you describe the plot to someone? Basically, the, the story is there's a woman uh, that has died, and I play a a doctor, a scientist, uh, unorthodox, and he's used to dealing with cadavers in his work, and this cadaver arrives, and he finds out that this woman has a child within her, and he sees this as a great opportunity to transplant the baby's brain in this woman's body. So the story really starts out with this 35-year-old woman with a baby's brain. Now, if that sounds silly, I suppose, uh, I get it, but it's really beautiful because you've got a character then without social conditioning that learns very fast, is very curious, but she's also in this person is also in a woman's body. So that's where we start, and it really affords this wonderful journey that this character takes into the world. I actually heard it described as a a female Frankenstein. But do you, let me okay. hold you there. No, that's cool. That's the setup. And we do lean on that for the, for the initial part. But then it becomes something else. Mm -hmm. And also, you've got to remember in Frankenstein, they put a criminal's brain in this creature and reanimated him. My relationship with her is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's something beyond paternal. Uh, and uh, it's, it's interesting because he's like a father figure and he goes through kind of the stages that a parent might, you know, first he tries to cloister her and mm -hmm. hold on to her and then there's the time where she has to let, be and let go and he chooses the higher love. What attracted you to Godwin Baxter? It's a beautiful role, I mean, and also uh, there were some personal funny things because I come from a medical family and um, there were, there were strong things. His face is disfigured, so it's always nice to work with a mask, work with something that takes you away from yourself so you can inhabit something that isn't you. It's nice when you have those strong either challenges or restrictions. When I uh, look at your career, it, it seems like you tend to take on dark characters. Is that something you seek out or, or those roles come to you? You know, your choices are always a combination of what you seek out and what comes to you, always. But I think generally I do have an interest in, in you know, people that are in the margins. I wouldn't necessarily say dark, mm. but they aren't... I'm interested in stories that I don't know, stories that aren't of my experience necessarily. And I think sometimes people that are on the margins can, can teach us things. I love these characters that may not be me, but I'm drawn to them, and, and they can be like transgressive. I'm not transgressive. I'm a, I, I'm a, I grew up in the Midwest. I'm middle class. I'm American. I'm not a crazy guy. But to go into those stories really helps you break certain uh, uh, shackles of conditioning, for example. You play this mad scientist. Don't this, say mad. Uh, this Don't scientist. Don't say mad, please. This scientist. He's unorthodox. This, uh, okay, so-called <laughs> disfigured monster. Okay, as you he can describes say that. himself, you know, in the movie as this monster. Right. How long did it take you to get made up? Uh, long. I, mean, <laughs> I don't like to. I don't like to brag about it. Um, but you know, like at the beginning, like four hours, and then two hours to remove it. Yeah. So it's a lot, but. You accept it. It's part of the pleasure of being able to work with that kind of um, mask, you know, that kind of performing mask. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not fun, but 
there are, there are, you know, there's gold at the end of the rainbow. I mean, there's a reason you do these things. All right, and my last question. When you read this script, did you immediately say, I'm in? I said, I don't remember exactly, precisely, but all I know is I, I like uh, the movies of Yorgos very much, and I like Emma very much. I mean, I didn't know her personally, but I like her work. So they, when they called me up and explained what it was, I was like, cool, you know, I'm in. Willem Dafoe's film Poor Things is out in theaters nationwide today. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.